Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today we are cooking out of our book, The Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook, in the dessert section. And we are making, can you read that? Lemon cupcakes with lime frosting. And I want you all to know that I've got the hardest job to do. <laughs> it's going to take me a long time to do what I have to do in this. Wait, would you want to share what you're doing? No, you go ahead. So it's on page 254, if you're cooking along with us. and. I'm wearing my Acid Queen t-shirt in honor of my mother, the Acid Queen, because this recipe has got not just lemons, but limes in the frosting. And it, uh, we have three lemons that have to be zested and juiced, and we want to have about two-thirds cup of lemon juice by the end of this. So if you don't have enough, we'll just get more lemons. But if you could start zesting, because we're going to need to put that in there. But I do, I do have to say one thing. When Jane brought this over, I just couldn't believe how delicious it was. And I don't, I'm not too good at making desserts like this. But I made these cupcakes. And when I made them, guess what? They make a dozen, by the way. I ate all of them myself. Twelve. All of them. They were so good. They were um, little. They were little. I they, mean, they don't, little. They, they're not they're big. They're little. They're not puffy, They aren't big they're cupcakes. Short. So that's a cup and a half of oat flour I just put in there, and uh, baking soda, and uh, baking powder also has to go in here. We have to do um, about a teaspoon of each. And so she can keep zesting while I add all the dry ingredients here. Um, let me get a big fork to stir this with. And what's so nice about this is, I guess you can get if you have a gluten issue, you can get gluten-free oats, and, and then you're good to go with that. All right, now the wet ingredients, for the, I mean, that's the complex dry ingredients, but the wet ingredients are delicious. So uh, we're going to add in some um, applesauce, and just for reference, we do about one little cup here. I have measured this before, and it's different at the time, so it's kind of, I, you say like roughly half a cup, but... I think it can also be five or six tablespoons, depending on the little. Jane, how have you measured that? And isn't that a half a cup? Yeah, it, yeah. I count it is. on that. Okay, yeah, it's half a cup. It's half a cup, and maple syrup, of course, because we don't like to sweeten. We don't use sugar. We use maple syrup. It's it's kind of fun when you have a liquid sweetener. Then you have to sort of figure out how, what's going to happen with your other ingredients, especially when we're tweaking. Oh, did I spill that much maple syrup? Ooh, jeez, liquid gold. What am I doing? Um, okay. <laughs> I've only done the zesting of two. Yeah, that's why it's a, it's a busy job. It's a busy, busy, it's, busy it's job. It's just a hard job. Woo! Acid Queen's up so for it. So much responsibility here. Um, all right, vanilla. If you love vanilla, go for more. We love it. We mostly love smelling it. Whenever I was a kid, you always would have me smell it. Whenever, mm. I do it almost every time I cook something. I get this <laughs> vanilla. It's a big, big whiff. And then some water. All right, you're doing too good of a job on that. Oh, you're actually good. Ready to start squeezing or mm -hmm. zesting? Or not so. You just zest it. You're going to do um, juicing. I may have to join you in the juicing. Jane, I don't know how to work this. Well, then use your thing. Well, these you lemons stink. put this in stink. and squeeze it down. They are there. Oh, these are juicy. Juicy. Oh, my goodness. Do you see all that juice? I think we're going to get to two-thirds cup in a hot flash. Okay. Hot <laughs> <laughs> You hit me in the thigh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Lemons flying! Acid queen! Wow. Just have to prove that my well. citrus reamer works well. <laughs> you almost reamed my leg. All right. Um, I'm catching all kinds of seeds my well let's see how much we have here we've got oh we've got a ways to go we've got a ways to go here you go i need a little, i need another half or two okay now this lemon the lemon in here is wonderful because it it interacts with the with the baking soda and baking powder oh hey i'm not done i know you're not done okay it's just like a shower these are juicy 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 lemons I'm going to just put in a bunch of the... Oh, these are really empty. I can't imagine I'm going to get anything out of this. Oh, I did! I did! I did! I'm getting blood from a stone! How much more? Do you need more lemons? Yeah, we need probably that one, then we're good. 
Why don't you ream it up? Ream it, ream it, ream it. I'm going to get this ready. Okay, so the, the, uh, the batter is going to be kind of much runnier once we get all the lemon juice in there. With uh, in including the seeds, yeah, we may have enough. Seeds. You always tell me to go with the seeds. And that's the joy of not the reamer, but the... Did you oh, get, it, did you get two thirds? seeds in there. Did you get two-thirds cup? Uh, yeah, close enough. You can keep trying to squeeze lemon in if you want. All right. Um, here we go. So this is a nice sort of runny... Can you get the top cam there? It's just a, a typical sort of cake, cake batter texture. Um, and we're going to make cupcakes. Lemon cupcakes with lime frosting. And by the way, we'll have a side panel flow in right here. Um, the lime frosting is actually our lime mousse. We, we call it pudding, we call it frost, we call it mousse, depending on what we're, we're using. Oh, look at all that. See how it's fluffing? Mm -hmm. That's all the behavior of the, of the acid and the, sorry, the acid and the base of the, it's, it's happening. Let's get it, let's get, here. We're going to fill these in. Scoop, let's scoop. And you want to start filling those? I'm going to turn the oven on. All right, we have a new oven. I don't really know how it works. Um, and Jane. I think we're at 375 or 350. 350. Just one scoop in each. That's good. Um, by the way, speaking of our oven, we just finished making, a, it's, it is, what, what month is this? It's June 2021. And we just finished doing photography for our upcoming cookbook, which won't come out until 22, about a year from now. Anyway. We were in the middle of the photo shoot for our cookbook, and we had two days left to go of shooting. And you know, we finished all the breakfast and the desserts and the lunches and the sauces and the sides and the salads, and we were just doing the dinners. So let's, you know, the cooking and the dinners, and my oven broke. So we're shooting it here. We've got no oven. We're putting things in the toaster oven and burning them, running back and forth to my mom's house to here. So they've come back a little bit, I mean, cooked and yummy, but not... Jane, what? I've got lots extra. Okay, well we can add a little bit more to each of them. Add a little bit more. Add a little more. Woo! Actually, you know what I do? I here we can do it. This is my 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 secrets are being revealed. I almost always make a little bit extra so I can <laughs> taste it when it's done. So here is a um, here's this is a tortilla pan. We usually put tortillas in here and they cook them into little bowls. Let's put some extra in here and we'll have our own little sampler. Well, I'm just evening these up. Okay, even them all up and then I bet we have enough to put a little something something in here. And um, my mouth is lemon, lemon lemon watering. Le Queens. Okay, that looks great. Will you put, put, the, put, put the rest yeah. in there? So we'll have, <clears throat> I mean I do this actually in a lot of my recipes and I, I think I, I don't mean to confuse people. But if you have extra, just make a little extra for yourself and bake it on the side and, and you still show up with your dozen cupcakes, but you had your bake. Maybe that's why they have a baker's dozen. Huh. The baker always had to try. Ha! Huh. Maybe that's why. It's happened to me without intending. All right. So these are going to cook uh, at 350 for um, 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how, how your oven works and how it looks. They are just going to rise up and then be done. They don't brown. They're going to be frosted anyway. So we will see you after these go in the oven and cook for 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Okay, we are. We have all of our cupcakes here. They are. They came out really kind of short, <laughs> but yeah. That's why I was able to eat so many. And uh, yes, and we had them cooked and had them cooled so we could frost them. So here they are. And this is our lime frosting, which again, um, I hope you saw the fly in. I think it's called. What's it called? Wait, fly in. Call out. Call out. I can't fly in. Call out banner. Um, the other video. And um, we're just going to frost these. And I made this frosting last night so it would be ready to go and what's kind of fun is after we frost it you can zest it with a little bit of lemon zest and a little bit 
of lime zest because these are lemon. And you put lots of frosting on. That's what's so good. But what's so cool is there's lots of lemon in the cupcake and there's lots of lime in the frosting. So it's kind of like this, um, oh, what's this, what's the soda? What has lemon lime? Seven up? Is that? Ugh. I, I, I'm not, I'm not calling these seven up cupcakes, Dang. but just, you can have lemon and lime. And I'm thinking of visuals from my childhood. Where, where there, <laughs> it's delightful. It's delicious. Uh, seven up had some commercial, but it had lemon and lime in it. That's what I remember. All right. So you want to start zesting? That'd be great. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of green, make these look a little lively. I think that they, they need a lot of green. Yeah, they have. They already have some lemon on them. <clears throat> and there, is it raining down? No. Not as well as mine did. Oh, there, there. I, I, I had rain and thunder. <laughs> thunder and. Okay. Here, you want to, you, you keep doing it. Now I get to do it. <laughs> We're taking turns. <laughs> Actually, we have a million zesters. I should just get another one. Oh, it's kind of cool with, with uh, the green. And the anyway, lemon. this, these are so amazingly delicious and too easy to eat. They are. Were they frosted when you ate 12 of them, you think? I, I think I, they weren't. I think they were just the plain, yeah, you just the little, lemon the so little cupcakes. They were just so lemony. No, I wouldn't have ever frosted them and managed that. Oh, but you know, that it does. Jane's totally right. These look so good with the little lemon. I don't know if you can easily see it. That yeah, little here. yellow. Top cam, check it out. Ooh. Wah, wah, wah. How about I that, can't babe? wait to have some of those. How about that? Beautiful. So do you want to have a little bite right now? No, I'm going to wait. For what? Well, I'm going to wait because I want them all. <laughs> all right, well, wait. Hey, I want you to try one. All right, well, you guys, I'm going to have him try one, but I want you to see this pretty picture as we say thank you. Enjoy your own, not 7-Up, but your own lemon cupcakes. Lemon cupcakes with lime frosting. Enjoy your own lemon cupcakes with lime frosting. Thank you. Bye.